This is a movie about a doctor that wants to do this, but with humans. He's on the side of the road staring at this insane picture, pondering about mouth to ass, ass to mouth. And he's like edging himself to it. Uh, 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 uh. This guy has definitely tried to suck his own dick. A semi-truck driver pulls up behind him and sprints to the woods to take what I can only assume will be a radioactive shit. And the doctor instantly locks in. What does he do next, you might ask? Grabs a tranquilizer out the back seat and tucks that thing in his jacket real nice. That did not look cool. There's actually no point in even tucking it. The guy is completely turned around. But yeah, he, um, he shoots the guy. So here we have these two girls, Lindsay and Jenny, that have traveled to Germany. And they're supposed to be ditzy. They're so stupid. Great. <gasps> Thanks. Auf Wiedersehen. They decide to go out to a club and somehow end up on a dirt road in the middle of the woods. Massive fuck up. There's no other way to say it. They end up driving over a pothole which destroys their tire and it's a jump scare. Look how crazy this cut is. I just don't know where we are. So they can't drive, and of course there's no signal, and there's suddenly a storm. So classic. Oh also, no one ever told me that this movie is a low-budget comedy, and like not very good. I mean, we've got some real prawn-level acting going on here. There's no signal! There's always a signal. Then this old guy pulls up and is like, please let me get a quick fuck. He is not a good person. The guy drives away and they leave the car to find help and they're being stupid again. We came from over here, I swear. How but do you know that? All the trees look the same. No! Sorry. No! They end up finding a house which happens to be owned by the doctor from the beginning. And he just does not even try to hide that he's evil. Jesus. He gives the girls water that he spiked and tells them that he's going to call for help, but fakes it because he now has two humans for the centipede. So why would he do that? It's then revealed to us that he currently has the truck driver in his evil lab ready to be used for the human centipede. He's winning, what can I say? The girls are now struggling because of the stuff in their drink and end up passing out. They, along with the truck driver, are now strapped to beds in the doctor's evil lab. But he kills the truck driver because he apparently doesn't match. And then he just comes back with a whole new body like it's nothing. Where did he get this guy from? And how does he just lift him up so effortlessly? So we're in the lab and the doctor turns on a projector and starts presenting. This is Dr. Joseph Heider and he is the leading surgeon in separating Siamese twins. Hence the massive weird painting in his living room. What is this attention seeking ass behavior? And six months ago he combined three Rottweilers together. What is this picture man? Next he goes on to explain the one thing this movie has going for it concept of the human centipede. We start with cutting the ligamentum <laughs> Pretty much he's gonna cut their knees so that they can only crawl and sew them together ass to mouth, mouth to ass. So they'll have one digestive system. One person eats, shits it through the other, and then they shit it into the next person, and then the last person shits it out. This concept truly is insane. Just the explanation of it with the diagrams made me clench my ass a little. The next morning he goes to prep them for the operation and Lindsay escapes. But the doctor has prepared the house for these situations so she can't leave and ends up locking herself in a room. I'm a sick man. Dr. Hyder then goes outside to the window and busts in that way. Would it not have been easier to just do this to the wooden door? Lindsay runs away and goes to free Jenny. But the problem is, Jenny is passed out and Lindsay can barely even drag her. At this point, I feel like she's better off just leaving her and going to get help. That way, at least one of them survives, you know? I guess there's a chance Dr. Hyder kills Jenny, but I feel like he's more likely to go after Lindsay or just flee the scene. So there's really no reason to be doing this. She should have given up after 30 seconds. Like, bro, come on. So because she's doing this, the doctor, of course, catches her. And as punishment, she will be in the middle of the centipede, which is the worst because you have humans attached to your mouth and ass. You also have to get shat in and then shit in someone else's mouth. And I mean, who wants to do that? All right, so then we get the procedure. 
and there's body horror stuff like asses being cut open. It's nasty, but it definitely would be way more nasty with a bigger budget. Like most of the surgery isn't even shown on screen. But after grinding in the lab for an undisclosed number of hours, the human centipede is now complete. No! As expected, it looks crazy. And Dr. Hyder can't believe it. He looks at himself in the mirror like, oh my god, I'm such a beast. With my massive gigacock. Fuck. He then tries to train the centipede as a pet. He puts it in a dog kennel, makes it eat out of a bowl, and tries to get it to bring him a newspaper. It's like, why didn't he just keep using the dogs if this is what he wanted to do? Combining these three people didn't shrink their brains or make them not human. So the lead guy, and the only one that can talk, Katsuro, is just like, fuck off and rebels. Also, this is gross, but I can't help but think that any out of sync movements with this thing would cause shit to start tearing. Like, how does it stay together? They, they didn't even have that much time to heal after the surgery. Anyways, we get to a point where Katsuro has the shit, and he knows it's bad. This motherfucker was not holding back when the doctor gave him that slop, so it's, it's gonna be a pretty heinous shit. And I feel like at this point, I would try to rip my face away from his ass. My life and body are already ruined, and if I die, it's better than being a human centipede. But Lindsay does not try this, and Katsuro shits in her mouth. Swap! What if she throws up? And after this, I think the movie starts to drag. As I mentioned before, this movie's concept is insane, and very unique, but I kind of feel like it would be better as an episode in a TV show as opposed to an entire movie or maybe a 30 minute short film like The Strange Thing About the Johnsons. The idea of the human centipede is so crazy that I felt like I had to watch it just to see how they executed it. But once it actually happens and we see it in action, I was kinda done with the movie because that was the only thing that kept me interested in the plot. I think the runtime just stretches this concept too thin and it doesn't help that the movie isn't very good technically. Zane. Also, the centipede itself just isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Look, I'm sure this went crazy back in 2010. I remember kids talking about it in school, and I know I'm late to it, but I just feel like in the present day, it's not that crazy. The concept is still wild, but how they execute it, not so much. We don't see most of the surgery, and a lot of the actual centipede is covered by bandages. And it is gross, don't get me wrong, but I thought this shit would be filthy. Two cops show up to the doctor's house because the centipede people were reported missing and a witness heard an American woman screaming on his property. And Dr. Hyder sees this as a chance to replace Jenny, who's dying from an infection, with two new bodies to create a four-person centipede. He gives them the same spiked water he gave the girls, but drops the needle and syringe that he was going to stick them with. So obviously they're like, yeah, you're weird, and go to get a search warrant. He goes to check on the centipede and it hits him with a little surprise attack, but decides not to kill him and tries to escape. And they have to go upstairs and Jenny's ass to mouth is tearing. It's gross. Why can't you just chase after them like a normal person? The escape attempt fails and Katsuro has decided that he deserves this fate because he treated his family poorly and slits his throat. I think it's a little extreme to say you deserve this, but RIP. The cops come back with a warrant and break into the house. Dr. Hyder stabs one of them and takes their gun, then shoots the other one a few times, but the cop refuses to go out like this and hits a perfect headshot to eliminate Bozo Dr. Hyder with his impeccable aim. All right, beast. We go back to the centipede and Jenny dies from her infection, leaving Lindsay alone with two dead people attached to her ass and mouth. 